underway as Louisville will kick off going from left to right here in the first half. Cluster of players in white in the center of the box waiting for this service. Lefty ball in towards goal. Campbell off her line, chance now headed by Oyster. Big header from Oyster, still loose. Volley from Olofsson is saved. And finally, Letzko will find Prince, and now the counter is on for Houston. Prince looking for some help. She's so good defensively. Just taking another replay of this, and just that header just back across. You can see just keeping it in the mix for racing. Another does go off the hat. Now some space for Nadia Nadim to make something happen. McCaskill charging up the right side to assist her. Nadim beats one. Nadim takes the shot but right into the chest of Jane Campbell. Good idea. Hard to beat Campbell from that far out, though. Poked away. Now played up for Rachel Daly. Good ball inside. Chance now for Latsko, but right at Betos. This is the second wasted opportunity from Nichelle Prince down this right-hand side, and she knows it's just not a good ball into the box, but you feel as if a goal is coming from this Houston dash side. Doesn't come in the first half, though. We'll go to the locker room scoreless here between Houston and Racing Louisville. Impressions of that half. We'll see if either team can break this one open here after a scores first of Alex Boder. Checks the watch and gets us going here in the second half in Houston. But you look at where McCaskill is picking this ball up. There's a nice ball here, a wide left for Nadim. Commentator's curse. It'll sit there for Nadim, going against Hansen, crossing it in towards the middle, and that gets through everyone. Just a little deflection probably finds the back of the net there. And as I was just about to be very hard on McCaskill saying, let your center backs do that job. She hits a brilliant ball. First thought, can we play forward? And then Nadia Nadim coming alive. This is what we needed to see her do in the second 45 minutes. She had a very quiet first half. Great ball into the box and just no run. It was interesting. It seemed like Malay almost tried to make herself small though. Like she thought somebody was coming far post that had a better angle than she did. Groom, nice ball in for Prince. Played inside for Daly. Daly shot and there's the first goal of the night. because you look at this, it's a brilliant little touch inside. Shea Groom coming alive, slipping this pass to Nichelle Prince. Nichelle Prince knowing exactly where Rachel Daly is in a dangerous spot. I love that Rachel Daly doesn't take this extra touch. She is a goal scoring threat. She knows exactly where the net is. A three at the back with wing backs. The Fox one is a head scratcher for me. You're down a goal against Houston, I feel like. They've done a good job containing her, but it's someone that you want on the pitch in order to add that distribution and the ability and that attacking presence to get up and down. So very much an interesting bringing Fox out. Ashley's been brilliant, but I think Fox has been doing good as well. And then subbing in two defensive-minded players when you're one nil down is, is interesting from Christy Hawley. Yeah, I think this is like for like for me, which is interesting, because yeah. like we said... All up the left side, trying to shake Shea Groom loose. Will do so. Groom trying to save that ball. Will do so. Chance for Prince. Goes low, but right to Betos. Right. Women's ICC up in Portland. Prince is loose again. Going left for Latsko. Ball inside for Mulis. He's wide. for Prince, one-on-one -on -one in the box against Simon, and nearly snuck it near post, just over. Prince that we saw early on in the season, getting forward, having this confidence to take players. I love this little touch, slows that defender down and just gets this one. Let's see if Sam can do what she did the first time against Houston, which is come on and immediately score. Two out, two out. And it almost looked like Salmon was changing the shape to that diamond midfield that we saw last match. That tactical adjustment, bringing these two players on the pitch, love to get forward, add a spark within this side. So delighted to see these substitutes happening. Look, Racing has played a lot of games in a short amount of time. Cross in towards Daly, far post, let's go. Excuse me, that was Groom, had it blocked out by Simon. Lefty service and once again into a dangerous area. 
Off a couple Louisville bodies, cleared out of the 18. Collision there. Balkum called for the foul and foot. To balance out this team a little bit more, you see loads of point of attack coming down this right-hand side with Michelle Prince and not a lot of down this left-hand side with Latsko. So I love this substitute. McCaskill serving a beauty in off ahead. Jim Campbell says that's mine. Forward from Hendricks and a whistle here. And a yellow card. Houston and a good shift from Sophie Schmidt. She'll be replaced by Gabby Seiler. And then the hero against Washington a few weeks ago, Michaela Bam, the Houston native, coming on for Kristen Mewis. As a sub, if not a starter in the CBS Sports Network game against O.L. Reign. We saw on that coming schedule of the O was shown to Aaron Simon for that tackle. Then you saw that brilliant little touch uh, into the box for Rachel Daly. Fabulous. So I like this sub coming in, though. I think Vasilev is really another player that has proven when players are gone for international duty. Gets through everyone for a Louisville throw in. About a minute and a half, give or take, for Racing Louisville to try and get a goal back and a whistle here. Yellow card <laughs> to Vizali. <laughs> Trying to get this ball back into play a little bit faster. A little shown there to Haley Hansen. Knocked out for a throw in. And that will be the final touch of this one. So Rachel Daly's goal assisted by Michelle Prince in the 40th minute stands up. Houston really turned it on in the second half to put this game.